It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. All right, guys, welcome back to the glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool, You Need This Tool. I know it's been a little while, been really busy, trying to figure out upload schedule too, you know, like I used to do Friday videos, Friday tool videos every Friday. Well, now I wanna do like Bibster videos on Fridays, and but I still wanna do tool videos, so they can't be on Friday, so I don't know. I'll figure it out. I like the idea of not doing tool videos on Fridays, just kinda whenever I have a good tool to bring you, and then have a standard upload schedule of Fridays for the fabrication or whatever else is going on in the shop. Speaking of going on in the shop, been working on organizing stuff. So all that junk that was over here, which there still is some of it, trying to get all that straightened up. Built this really long table uh, just to work on. It's made to access from the backside. And I'm actually gonna put a wall up right here I think 10 on this side, make some racks to hang all my chrome ollie and stuff. Start the new year off right, right? You gotta get organized around here. At least I feel like I need to get organized around here. So that's actually today's, actually today's tool, tool video, tool. So in an effort to get organized, Bought some more of these bad boys. And these are just tool bins or bolt bins, part bins. The thing that's nice about these is they, they roll out, so you can access whatever's inside. They'll also, you can actually take them out. And then on the inside of these things, I mean, you can get them in different configurations. So this one has a bunch of small holes, say for electrical connectors or something like that. Um, or you can also get them larger holes. You can also take these out. Just have them as an open tray or Mitch can switch these things around based on whatever needs you might have. things are awesome. So the racks come for five trays. I've actually been using these things for a long time. You may have seen in past videos uh, this setup here. So this is a really old setup that I've got. It's actually not even made by the same company that those are. I actually like those just a little bit better. But same exact size, same exact style. Um, you know, like for here, I got a bunch of fuel fittings. So, random fuel fittings that come off projects or that I'm, you know, I purchased for projects but end up not using. They just go in here. And then if I ever need, you know, 180 degree dash six push lock fitting, there it is, right? Uh, switches and randomness in that one. electrical connectors. And this one's got bolts in it. So anyway, one of the things I wanted to do when I built this particular table was I wanted to make it to where it could fit a bunch of these. So I've got it set up where it's gonna fit four. I've got little extra legs at the bottom to support the weight. And so that's the plan is to just start buying these things up, fill this up and just have ample ample storage and that's kind of gonna be the idea of this whole section over here i really really want to focus on storage have a place for everything and then you know kind of keep the shop nice so these particular ones here are by durham manufacturing um like i said really nice setup it's all ball bearing um it's got a little like a detent so when you push it in it kind of hangs on so it's not gonna like roll out you could put this in a work truck probably and not have any issues with it these also have latches on the top so 
So you can latch these things closed if you want. These things aren't terribly expensive, so the trays are, I think, right around 25 bucks a piece. Um, you can basically get a whole rack full of trays for around 220 something dollars, I believe, with it full. So not cheap. You know, you're taking 225 bucks. If I put four of them over here, I'll end up having $1,000 in it. But the great thing about these two is you can kind of buy them as you go. So, you know, you spend $25 here, you buy one, you kind of fill it up. Maybe not even put it in one of these racks. And then later on, you buy another one, another 25 bucks. You know, you kind of build on it as you go. Before you know it, you got all kinds of storage. Um, I think it's cool too, I don't know if I mentioned it, but say this thing was full of electrical connections and you needed it to work on a vehicle. Well, it's not stuck over here. You just pop the tray out, take it with you, put on your little work cart while you're working, use what you need to use. And when you're done, it comes back over, back under the bench, nice and tidy. All right, there you go, this week's tool. What is this, parts bin? The Durham Manufacturing Parts Bin. Uh, as I always do, I'll drop some links into the description. You can go check them out for yourself. Uh, like I said, these things are legit. You'll see me use these going forward. And uh, that's the rain coming. So anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next week. Y'all go do work, son. Oh, it's Friday, fool.